I'm back to give you guys a reading for my beautiful Pisces. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Welcome. If you haven't already hit that bell button, hit that bell button at the bottom so you can get a notification each time I upload. So the first card out we have is the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things, coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. Mm. So there's some things that, there's some type of clarity, some things that you're about to find out, some things about to come to light. Spirit wants you to be lighthearted after finding out this truth, okay? Um, Spirit wants you definitely to adapt to whatever this change is and heal. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, and want to deep. So somebody want to date you, so see? I'm hearing the truth heard. This could have been somebody who already have hurt you before sun seeds and something could have gotten exposed to you. Maybe you received some type of clarity about someone you was dating. Somebody could be wanting to come back around. Yeah, somebody, somebody just can't forget you. But this is somebody who hurt you before. This is somebody who wants to change their mistakes, I'm hearing. If somebody feels like if you give them a second chance, they'll do right, they'll do better. Yeah, seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third-party interference. So you could have found out about a third-party situation. Somebody was flirting with someone else, um, could have been you know, hooked up with someone else. The golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, okay? So you could have felt like this person was a narcissist. Um, love, unconditional love, karmic relationship, lightning, sudden changes, shocking. Uh, oh, okay, so let's see. So somebody was dating a karmic, and they found out that a karmic was a snake. Now somebody, um, hmm. Somebody want to come in and make things right with you. Somebody is in regret about putting this love at risk. Yeah. Something changed with a karmic relationship or something changed within this person. Somebody regret, um, you know, um, being one-sided when it came to this connection. Yeah. The phoenix and separation. Yeah, somebody want, yeah, heart with a key. Paradise, yeah, somebody want, um, <clears throat> this person could have, you know, hooked up with somebody, you know, maybe they had, it was like a um, sexual connection, a fling, hooked up with this person, got in a connection with a, with a karmic that they had no business being in. Of course, that was going to fall immediately. Um, anything that's not meant to be is, um, <clears throat> that's not solid, it's going to crumble. Um, yeah, somebody's regretting hooking up with a karmic. They realized that this person was a snake. Mm-hmm. Somebody feel like they was being charmed or used by this karmic. Mm. Yeah. And whoever this person is, they can't stop thinking about you. Somebody, I just heard somebody love the way you carry yourself. Yeah. Somebody feels like if you let them back in, you get them a second chance, they do right. Yeah. Poverty. Somebody wants to come out the cold. I just say four, 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 four. Anything that was reject was rejected was from anything that you was rejected from was your protection. You guys could have started over being a new phase of your life or went through a transformation. You guys could have grown so much since the situation. Holy Spirit, give me some messages, please, and thank you. These cards are so slippery, so I see it. Somebody regret letting you go. Yeah, high honor. Mmm. Somebody sees you in high honor. Um, you could be looked at in a positive way when it comes to like the public. Um, but this is someone who, who, who held you in high regards. Um, high honor, promotion, or raise, success, award, recognition, fame, achievement, high society, positive public opinion. Mm. 
25 break it down to a seven. Yeah, somebody seeing things from a higher perspective. I'm hearing how I adore you, how much I adore you, how much I respect you. Somebody never knew that love can be this real. <laughs> Somebody want to come in and submit to you. I'm here and I want to come in. I take care of you. I just heard family room under the bottom. Give me more Holy Spirit. I feel like you, um, with this rising phoenix, you definitely could have started a new phase, went through a transformation or renewal within you. Something that you, I feel like whatever this person did to you, um, you grew so much. After finding out this truth that this person did with this karmic, it's like you healed. And somebody watched you heal, I'm hearing so gracefully. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's letting go of a karmic to come towards you. We have timing. <sighs> this person feels like they're running out of time. But something is happening. It says timing is important, not to leave divine timing. Trust timing. There's no rush. Be present, the leads. But with this high honor and timing, five, five, somebody feels like they got to move quick. Okay? They feel like they got to move quick. They feel like time is not on their side right now. They feel like they got to come in and make this move with you. Somebody let go of a karmic. Yeah, for somebody who they truly love. Mm-hmm. Somebody released a karmic for someone who they truly love. Somebody regret being with the karmic because they found out the karmic was a sneak. Okay? Whoever this person that they were dating or hooking up with, um, something, some type of... Some lightning, um, some type of sudden shocking news happened. Yeah. Somebody could have found out this person was sleeping with other people. They weren't the only person. Somebody also could have been realizing that there's no love here. There's no love. It's just seduction. There's no love here. Somebody could have found out somebody was only using them for just sex. Or this is what somebody do. They use people just to sleep with them. But there's no love. The love is with you. Yeah, manifestation. Um, gift of money. Mm. Look at you, Sunseeds. So you guys out here manifesting, you know, your wildest heart's desires. Um, creation is your power. That That's just something that you don't, <laughs> you real, you powerful at creating things, creating a life that you want. Um, you have a lot of potential, very talented. Um, and with whatever you create in it, it brings in with this manifestation of gift of money, you're bringing in a lot of wealth. Okay, some type of sudden financial change, a windfall, um, a windfall, a windfall, small monetary increase, small win, quick turning around, joy over money. Seven and two and seven breaking down to a nine. You went through some type of death and rebirth. Three and nine breaking down to a 12, which is a three. Yeah, something is happening for you. Um, divine. It's like once this person, uh, once you receive some type of clarity um, and you have healed, instead of, you know, letting this situation take the best of you, as you have healed gracefully, Sun Seeds, um, after finding out whatever situation, it's like the divine um, wants to bless you with some type of... Um, monetary um gift some type of increase in your finances with the high honor manifestation gift of money and timing yeah so you about to be you about to receive a, a major gift from the divine yeah that's confirmation um but some of you guys you're being gifted with a, a marriage a house mm. You got somebody from your past crushing over you. Somebody, I'm mirroring, I feel, they, they, they feel it, like, they feel pain. Oh, wow. So somebody's not taking this heartbreak, I mean, this um separation very well. Okay, so maybe somebody thought they had the next best thing, Sun Seeds, over you. Okay, only to realize they hooked up with a snake, and now they got to watch you as this rising phoenix. Yeah, the phoenix of separation, it's like... <laughs> After the, after the separation, you you went through a major glow up. 
And now somebody is yearning for you. Somebody is also unsure of the future with you guys. Um, would you even take them back? Imprisonment, somebody trapped in their head. This person is nervous coming towards you. Give me more Holy Spirit. Timing. Somebody wonders, or do you feel them, you know, feel them thinking about you? Oh. Okay, we have main meal. Yeah, and main meal and change. Hmm. You change this many mill, whether you knew it or not. And within, within, uh, within a separation, I don't know why I keep getting tongue twisted. The heck? Yeah, you make this person nervous, sunsees. Um, this and um, within time, this person have changed. They seeing things differently. This is somebody that um. Wants to be your husband, your partner, your boyfriend. So he can have a resonate. But there's some type of commitment that's coming in for you. Okay. This person had like a change in their life. A sudden change in this, in their life. Um, this is person is choosing to go a new direction. Whoever this karmic is, they choosing to let this situation go completely. This person has a change of view of things. Yeah, somebody realized that the karmic was a snake. They don't want nothing to do with them. Somebody wants their true love. But somebody feel like uh, whatever they done to you, whatever you found out about, you won't accept them back. You won't take them back. This person sees you as the sun, the happiness, the joy. Yeah, now they want to come rushing in and take a chance, take a risk with you. But some of you guys, you might don't trust this person. Maybe you feel like there's no second chances. Um, you guys can't grow from this situation. Maybe you have grown so far. Um, you just, for some of you guys, you're not looking back. For others of you guys, you probably say, you know, you know what, Mystic Sunflower? I'm happy that I was able to be a catalyst in this person's life to, to help change them. But this is not what I want anymore. Hmm. For others of you guys, you was waiting for this person to change. You was working on yourself, okay? Um, hoping that, you know, within time, this person changed. For um, some of you guys, you know, whether you whether you decide to take this person back or not, Sunseeds, because this person is coming towards you to give, to give you some type of offer, okay? Something that you're not expecting. Um, whether you choose to take this person back or not, you change this person's life forever. You change their view. Um, of how to treat people, um, just a view on life, period. This person don't see things the same because of you. High honor. That's your first card out. <sighs> Sudden wealth. Mature man. Mm. For others of you guys, um, <laughs> you gotta, um, there's a mature man that's coming towards you. This person could be, um, older, or it could just be an age difference between you guys. Um, this is gonna be someone who's, like, either a father figure, um, someone who's very supportive. This is definitely a boss or a mentor or a teacher, um, This is somebody that's coming in with this sudden wealth. For some of you guys, um, with this timing and this future, um, some of you guys, um, my nose itches, what I'm about to say. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Some of you guys are going to marry, um, live in a big house with someone who's very wealthy. I don't know who this for, but... Some of you guys, you have changed this main male life who you was dating, who hurted you, put you through some, some shenanigans, okay, with a karmic. And you guys are deciding to move forward, okay, create the life of your desires, okay? 
because you are you you um you understand that the power that you have within you to create whatever. Um so I want got a mature man coming in with sudden with with sudden well. That's a, a you know, be honest, a rich man. Um some type of um big financial gain or some winning, some monetary gains, financial success, inheritance, um, in and out of uh, wealth. But I seen house and I seen marriage a little while ago. Some of you guys are going to marry this wealthy man. Mm. And the person who, 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 before who you was dating, who, um, who lied to you, um, who possibly would just, in a, you know, um, in a shadow side, you know, just, you know, cause everybody has free will. Of course we all want people to do right, you know, but, um, it confirmation but you know everybody is out on different timelines in their life and i feel like you know this person just wasn't there that at that time this person was still weak in the spirit when it came to temptation um you being so held in high honor you had that um type of ability and effect to change this person's life okay um and maybe it didn't happen when you probably expected it to, because maybe you, you would have decided to give this person a second chance. But by you healing and growing and um, you know, being lighthearted and, and being soft on yourself, being soft on yourself, forgiving yourself, nurturing on yourself, being this rising phoenix, um, going through this transformation and not fighting it, you have finally, you know, you change your mind. And because you change your mind, you change your whole life. Somebody has um, created a life. Um, I'm hearing of your wildest, wildest desires. For some, of, for some of you guys, I have to be honest. You guys are going to marry, a, you know, somebody who is very, very fortunate. Okay, they're going to want to marry you. Um, I see marriage in house earlier. Yeah, wow, under the bottom fulfillment. Hmm. Um. Short sorry, I was good in the family room. I see someone's health getting better. I don't know who that's for. It says it says short illness and good news. So if you had like some health issues, that's gonna get better. Um family room could be somebody in your family, maybe you was worried about, or this could be you. But um, there's some type of filming that's coming in for, for you, Spirit is saying. Peace, harmony, satisfaction, and alignment, acceptance, happiness, positive mindset, and your power. That's why somebody is hitting all of these beautiful things. Somebody is perfectly in alignment. So you got, you, you got somebody from your past that wants to come back. And you also have a future spouse. Ooh, Spirit said, that's the judgment. Great fortune, adjudication with great fortune. Who is all of, was there somebody hit the damn line? <laughs> so, yo, whoever you meet in Sun Seas, I'm telling you, great fortune house. Ooh, somebody is in perfect alignment. Maybe you went through some type of um time of your life where you was in poverty. Um, Maybe someone could have stolen from you before or something was taken from you. I'm here. God is about to, ooh. God is about to double, double all that. You get double for your troubles, double for your worries. Ooh, just imagine this person leaving this karmic, realizing that there was a snake, turning them loose, letting them go, to come back to you and watch you be so in tune with yourself where you just like, no, you know, that I'm just not that same person who, who I used to be. You know who who I was when we first dated. That's not me anymore. Because when you know when you when you when you when you decided to go your other way and leave me out on the cold for a karmic, I've changed. I evolved. You know, I'm not that person you used to date no more. The person who I am today, you don't know this. You don't know this person of me. You don't know this side of me. You have to get to know me all over again. That's why you're meeting someone who's mature. You know, but you know that's you know that's put the you know it's it's a it's a bonus you know to whoever this is. As far as you you know you want to meet someone who's 
with a lot of wealth. Um, but I also feel like you have a lot of wealth too, because with great fortune, sudden wealth, I feel like you're meeting someone who's on the same type of time as you, okay? On the same page as you, two, two people that's going to be doing very well together when it comes um, to any type of financial um, abundance. Um, whoever this person is, just imagine somebody have to watch someone um, literally live the life of their dreams. I didn't even see this card, Journey. Ooh. Journey, past life, and courtship. I can't make it up. You going on this journey, you moving on, but somebody from your past life will courtship. They hoping that you can forgive them. They want your forgiveness. Divine support. Ooh, look at this. Divine support with wealth. The car's sticking together. Divine support with wealthy woman. I love these cards. I love these cards. I haven't seen, never seen these cards before. I love these cards. Oh my goodness. These are, look, divine support and wealthy women, guidance, angelic signs, higher self, synchronicities, deeper purpose, soul calling, dreams, messages, miracles. Wow, wealthy women, well, beauty, youthful, fun, charming, creative, luxury good life, high standards of living. Oh. Somebody I'm hearing is going to keep rising to the top. Somebody from your past, they like, oh, hell no. I want to go on the journey of life with you. You're going to get a surprise visitor from someone. And then, oh, Somebody has an ancestor in particular that's on the other side that's pushing for them to have this. It's a particular ancestor that's rooting for you, that want this for you. And my nose is itchy. <laughs> and my nose, yeah, look at this, gift. Yes, gift and marriage. Wow, fulfillment. I'm telling you, it's somebody ancestor in particular. Okay. Could be a male ancestor. But somebody um somebody wants you to get some type of gift that you deserve. But some of you guys you're gonna marry this person, y'all gonna go into partnership, y'all gonna join forces. Um your romance is about to go to a next level when this connection comes together. Um, be open to receive this gift, okay? And you're getting it because you're in alignment. Main female, sweetheart. You're a sweetheart. You deserve it. Mm, I love this for you, Sunsteeds, but this, this this past person, I don't know. Listen. <laughs> They now, they not, they not doing too well. They not doing too well. Um, but that short um illness and good news. Somebody could be, you know, because I heard earlier somebody feeling pain. So this heartbreak is causing this person some type of pain. Emperor to the temperance. Ooh. Okay, beautiful. Um, somebody um is feeling some type of pain. Maybe uh, somebody is so hurt, but you know, heartbreak, that's, ooh, yeah. Page of Swords and Ace of Cups. You got to have a secret admirer watching you already. Whoever this rich woman or rich man is that she about to go into union with, that's about to come and take action. Four wands to the king of wands. <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, somebody could be needing your healing with that short, short-term illness and um, good news. Somebody could see you as an earth angel. Somebody feels like you can heal them. Maybe this person has some type of illness and they feel like the only person that can heal them is you. We have the justice card under the bottom with the ace of cups. Come through, Holy Spirit. Wow. Somebody is about to get new love and that's their karmic just with the judgment. Come on, Holy Spirit. Talk to them today. Wow. Will of Fortune, not a cups. 
Somebody about to get again. Sussies. Somebody about to get a real big wish. I told you somebody. Listen, Ace of Swords. Somebody. Ancestor. Ancestor. It's particular. You can have a. This ancestor could be a Virgo. This is the truth. Somebody's ancestor is gifted with this. The magician. Something that you manifest is going to come out of nowhere. You're going to be like, what? It's that spirit guide. I'm telling you. I said, it's that spirit guide. It's your spirit guide. Somebody's ancestors. Look, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. I know what I'm feeling. Temperance to the nine of pentacles. I know. Somebody just... Somebody just been working, you know, been patiently waiting. They've been in this temper, you know, energy after going through this beautiful transformation of death to the temperance, allowing this transformation. That's why we have the rise the Phoenix here. The Phoenix going through this transformation. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love this for y'all. I love this for y'all. Somebody went through something that was so hurtful and they still, you know, chose to remain lighthearted and allow the changes, allow themselves to go through the changes, heal themselves, get to know themselves. Um, and, oh my goodness, it's like somebody is getting like so many gifts from the divine because the way how they have healed so gracefully, how somebody didn't let somebody change their heart. And whoever I'm picking up on, I just got like a tightness, a tightness I felt that made me get real teary eyed. Somebody didn't allow somebody to change their heart. They did not. Congratulations. You guys got a secret admirer as well. Whoever, um, you know, left you out in the cold or snaked you for. A karmic, this person is in so much regret. You have no idea how much regret this person is in. Two of Cups. I'm telling you. Two of Cups, Six of Swords with the Eight of Wands. Something is about to come in quickly for you. Look, Emperor, somebody about to, <laughs> somebody about to marry a wealthy, rich man or woman, but I'm just picking up and tuning to leave the channel what I feel and what I'm seeing, okay? There's a connection that's coming in quick. Emperor, the Six of Swords, somebody that's being divinely guided to come towards you or you're being, you know, um, as you move away to common waters, this is going to come in for you. But with the Three of Pentacles, I feel like this is a connection that you're going to go into business with. Not only are you going to marry this person, be in a relationship with this person, but you guys are going to like, y'all gonna work together, okay? This is not just a marriage, but, you know, marriage is a um, a partnership, you know? That is, um, you know, a business partnership. But six of cups to the page of cups, somebody from your past also wants to come back around and apologize. But somebody, spirit guy. It's telling them to leave somebody out in the cold. The sun card. Wow. Wow. Something is coming in so quickly. It's like somebody don't even see it. I just see the ace of swords. <laughs> somebody don't even see it. Like somebody have no idea how like this good news that's coming in. I mean, I'm like, it's like a ray of sunshine. Somebody has no idea what's coming in for them. No idea. You could be like in just an unknown territory. You know, um, don't know, you know, what's going to happen the next day or the next day, but you just, you just completing your mission for the divine three of cups. Yeah. Somebody about to be celebrating something coming in quick. Holy spirit, holy spirit, holy spirit, holy spirit. What's this energy I'm picking up on? Please and thank you. Thank you. Judgment. That's <laughs> somebody is like finally you know, moving away from the past. Somebody feels like they have done all they could. Um, somebody is, you know, you know, forgiven to their past. You know, they making amends with their past. Somebody is okay with whatever happened, you know? Somebody is making a final decision to like, you know, 
I don't want to stay stuck anymore. You know, I want to fully be in my purpose. I know I've done right by people. I know I've done all I can, you know? Somebody went through an awakening. Wow, 10 of Pentacles. Seven of Cups, Five of Cups. Somebody, uh, somebody is looking at it like they know you got so many choices, and <sighs> somebody also in their head because they wish that they would have married you. They regret not marrying you. Ooh, wow. Like any more Holy Spirit? What's the judgment? Holy Spirit, the judgment. The judgment is clarified with the will of fortune. And it fell out on the emperor. Something changed. Something was fated to change. It's like somebody's luck is changing. Queen of Cups. Somebody's love life is changing. You also helped um, this uh, main male change as well. Yeah, now I see the Ten of Pentacles with the King of Cups. Oh, two ones, the four ones. <sighs> Somebody planning on marrying you, Empress. You put ten swords out your back. You went through a major heartbreak. You went through a major betrayal. You Ace of Cups to the Sun card to the Ace of Wands. Damn, to the Knight of Cups, to the Page of Swords, to the Queen of Wands. What the way? Somebody like you, like you, like you, like you, like you, like you, like you. Ooh, child. <laughs> sun seeds, Ace of Cups, the Sun. And somebody like you, like you. Somebody in love. Damn. Something you manifested is coming straight towards you. Somebody manifested a beautiful love. Yeah, somebody freed themselves from a situation that had them stuck in the head. Mm. Yeah. The temperance to the hey man. What's the will of fortune, Holy Spirit? Somebody's on the good side of karma. That's why I'm like, all of this, all this fortune and gifts out here. Like, what did you do? You won the lottery? Nah, all you. <laughs> Experience to see the Ace of Swords to the Justice, Six of Wands. No, what I was about to say was, you know, you just, um, I see the Ace of Swords again. Just being a good person, you know? You be good by people, you know? You get good karma. You don't do right by people, you get the karma. You know, whatever you reap, I mean, whatever you sow, you shall reap, you know? Mmm. Will of Fortune, Holy Spirit, Will of Fortune. Thank you. Will of Fortune, ooh. Well, the fortune is clarified with the devil. Somebody might be dealing with a Capricorn. What's the devil card, Holy Spirit? Yeah, somebody else is just getting back karma. The world card. Something is ended for somebody else. Somebody, somebody who 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 played with you, because we seen the lovers. Okay, somebody who had a choice between you and a snake. Somebody chose wrongfully, and that's their karma. That's just how it goes. Okay. What you sow, you shall reap. Somebody wanted to go play in with a karmic, and that's their karma. You decided to work on yourself and heal yourself, so you is getting karma too. But you just so happy to get good karma because you didn't do anything. Now the pentacles, the hermit. Who shall? Yeah, six of swords out here. Somebody's karma, is, somebody's karma, you walking away. Damn. Ace of Swords to the Page of Wands. Spirit said, that's the truth. That's the message. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody worked on themselves. Somebody mastered themselves. And now they're getting a fresh new start. Mmm. Ooh, chef. What's the Ten of Swords on the Spirit? The Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords energy. Ten of Swords, um, the Three of Wands want to come out with the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, Holy Spirit. Ten of Swords. Three of Swords. The Shrimp card. 
Somebody regret hurting you. King of Wands, Eight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Ooh, Six of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody regret not giving into this connection. Mm-hmm. Somebody, uh, uh, somebody took advantage of somebody that was a sweetheart. They knew that somebody would, you know, just what you know, they would give. Um, they knew somebody was loving. They knew somebody was caring. And instead of giving, giving to that energy, they abused this person's generosity. Um, damn. Somebody could have been dealing with a Leo, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Somebody wanted somebody, they didn't want to release somebody and let someone go. Because, um, I mean, somebody knew that somebody was, um, I'm just going to be honest, that somebody was very blessed when it came to attracting beautiful things in their life. Somebody's intentions was not pure. It was not. It was not. Ten of Pentacles under the bottom, three of cups, Queen of Wands. You about to be celebrated. Okay? You about to be celebrated. Queen of Cups, Nine of Wands. You didn't give up. And it's like you still got, you still had compassion towards this energy. Even with Ten of Swords to the Three of Swords, something really hurt you a lot. For some of you guys, you felt like this person used you. They stole from you. They used you for your finances. And then went to give someone else a commitment. What's the Six of Pentacles in reverse? That's why they getting karma now. Yeah, the lovers. I know what I'm picking up on. That's why I'm telling you. It's like somebody, somebody, oh man, wow. Somebody wanted to use somebody uh, somebody also could have felt like, well, you know, I put it down real good. You know, you'll give me, you'll give me your money or I can use you or you'll never leave me. What the hell? Gemini energy, Pisces energy. What's this lovers? Holy Spirit, what's this lovers? The chariot, cancer energy. Uh-uh. King of Swords to the Seven of Swords. Somebody be mean to take from you. Take from you. Oh, this was a whole goddamn devil. I'm telling you. Ace of Swords. <laughs> That's the truth. Shit. Yeah. That's why whoever this other... Ooh. Somebody did this to somebody who held in high honor? Ooh, shit. Good luck with that one. Good luck with that one. Six of Wands. And it fell out on a gift. Some type of reward, accolade, some type of success coming in for you. Yeah, that's why somebody got to watch you when this glow up. Be re be rewarded. Get you know, get this beautiful connection. Oh, shit. What's gonna be the outcome for my collective sunset? So we feel what's gonna be the outcome moving forward? Temper, <laughs> balance, restoration. Archangel Michael is here heavy. Who's going to be the outcome, Holy Spirit, moving forward for my collective sun seeds? Wheel of Fortune. So good karma. Good karma. Something is changing. Something is changing. Good karma. And judgment on, fell out on gift. With Ten of Cups, High Priestess, Nine of Cups. Shaft. Congratulations for whoever you are. I mean... You had, um, the cycle was changing and you went through the transformation. You are entering a period of growth, elevation, so be open to new opportunities. Will of Fortune, Judgment, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, High Priestess. Mm. Now somebody wants to come back and reconcile. They feel like you're the only one for them. You're the only one that they need. But they're being blocked. Mm. 
Yeah. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. Somebody left you to heal after going to give a commitment to a karmic. Eight of Cups. But you know what? That was the best thing, too. Because you, you mastered yourself. You sure did. And then because of that, somebody feel like it's too hard now. Not a pentacle, so the eight of pentacles. You did that shit by yourself. And even when they walked away, you were still lighthearted, still had compassion in your heart. Your heart never changed. Be ready to be celebrated. Somebody's spirit got us gifted with this. I love you, Sun Steve. I hope this reading was able to help you guys, give you guys clarity on your situation. And so we get up next time. Spirit is just saying now is just a time. Something about divine timing is heavy at play. Okay, so just be patient. Something beautiful is here. Some type of fulfillment because you're in alignment. Okay. And whoever this person is in like you. <laughs> Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I see who that right with my, my business. I'm gonna get out y'all business. I feel like it's a secret of my hiring. Y'all don't know yet. No him or her yet. <laughs> As you move away to call waters. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else with my beautiful collective sun seeds? Yeah, something blew up with that call me. They cannot believe that this change is happening. They're like, no, she's getting, she or he's getting away. Love and passion. How good out. Yeah. Yeah. The chaser and abundance and engagement. The butterfly. Damn. Wedding rings. Ah. Look at my son sees. Wedding rings. The butterfly. Engagement. Abundance. The chaser. Now they want to chase you down. Now they want to chase you down for some of them which they would have married you. But some of you guys, you're about to get engaged to someone else. Kisses and coffin. Cupid's arrow. Healthy choices. Yes. Somebody ended something out with somebody to come towards you. Mm-hmm. They can't get enough of you. Um, I'm being called to say you're going to have to use discernment. Please use discernment. Okay. Um, you're going to get two offers. One is straight for the divine. And another one is um, the see have you passed the test. Okay. I'm being called to say that. Okay. You're going to be tested with. There's two people coming towards you. You've seen the lovers twice. Okay. You're going to have to make a choice between somebody that you have learned a lesson from that showed you who they were. And someone else is coming towards you. Wedding rings, the butterfly again. Engagement ring. Twin flame ascended. Mask, the golden mirror. You gotta be careful with this mask and seduction and date. Be careful who this person is that wanna come in. Okay, it could be a twin flame. Take out a resonate. That's masking. And you know, they wanna date you, but with the seduction, somebody could be only be looking for friends with benefit situations. Still not ready. With this ascended being here, you have already ascended. You're going to get a love call from this person. They see you abundant. They got some type of addiction. I feel like the addiction is you, but remember, this person stabbed you in the back.